his feet. They call him the professor. Normally he wears glasses, very unassuming. Joshua Franco from San Antonio, Texas. He's 4-0 with two KOs making the ring walk. There you see trained by Robert Garcia out of the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy now in Riverside. And all four of his bouts have been uh, LA Fight Club shows, so he's ours. He belongs to us, and we've seen him grow. We've seen him sort of evolve from his amateur style where he's bouncing on his feet, throwing a lot of light punches to a more professional style where he's coming forward, planting his feet, and landing with leverage, particularly to the body. And these are highlights from his last fight here at the Blasco Theater. We're seeing the combinations, the left-right combos, his hand raised in victory, he is 4-0. There's Jorge Perez, he is 2-1 with one knockout. It's very rare that Joshua Franco fights a guy who's actually younger than he is. <laughs> 20 against 18, and our ring announcer, Joe Martinez. Well, fine fans, we are set to go with the next bout tonight. Six rounds is scheduled in the Bantamweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing white trunks, he weighed in officially 116 and three quarter pounds. As a professional in three bouts, his record stands at two victories, one defeat with one win coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Riverside, California, here is El Huero, Jorge Perez. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, trimmed in gold. He weighed in 117 and one half pounds. He is perfect in four professional bouts with four victories. No defeats, two wins coming by way of knockout from San Antonio, Texas. Here is the undefeated Joshua, the Professor Franco. And your referee in charge of the action, Boxing Hall of Famer, Dr. Lou Moran. Okay, gentlemen, I'm giving you instruction and dressing. You have a good, clean fight. Return to your corner and wait the bell. Good luck. Thank you. Lou Moret, the referee, Timothy Hicks, Fernando Villarreal, and Carla Caiz, your judges for this fight, scheduled for six rounds in the Bantamweight division. And these, guys are, these guys are babies. Yeah, Perez, two years younger at 18, he's uh, one inch taller, and Joshua Franco's wingspan is two inches longer. We get ready to go. Joshua Franco, the 20 year old in blue with gold trim. Jorge Perez, the 18-year-old in the all-white trunks. Doug, you mentioned it, Franco. All of his fights have been at the Belasco Theater. 14 professional rounds entering tonight. Last time we saw him, he went seven rounds against Juan Benavides. Franco 4-0 with two KOs. Trained by Robert Garcia, his dad, Jesse Rodriguez, in attendance here, working the corner also. Right hand landed by Franco. Perez always fires back whenever he gets nailed. Franco's dad, Jesse, and his mother drove 17 hours on Monday from San Antonio, nonstop, all by the mom, by the way, to get here. Been to all of his son's fights. That his son didn't go to college, but living it with Robert Garcia and Hector Tanahara, also Mikey Perez, and some other fighters at, in Riverside. Yeah, Jonathan Navarro, who's Jonathan Navarro. also a, a, an LA Fight Club product. So that's essentially their freshman year. They're, <laughs> they're living in the house and they're sharing, might as well be bunk beds. Yeah, it's like they're a dormitory. Room. It's a dorm. Wake up, train, get some sparring in. Speaking of Tanahara, I see him in the corner. He's part of that entourage. His father, Hector Sr., is watching in San Antonio at their gym. We say hola to them. They have the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy in San Antonio version. And the mouthpiece comes out of, come on, come on. of Jorge Perez, which is interesting. Downstairs, <laughs> they, uh, Lou Moret is not messing you around. You know, Doug, Doug asked, how old is Lou Moret? I don't know, but he still has his piss and vinegar. That much is clear. <laughs> and he's yelling to get off my lawn right now. <laughs> yeah. Or get off their lawn. Get off. 
Right hand landed by Franco. Perez mentioned that mouthpiece. Had to have two new mouthpieces. Oh, good up uppercut. Right landed by Franco. Upstairs. Staggering Perez. Body shot drops El Huero. Good hand movement by Joshua Franco here in the opening round. Perez seems clear headed. Second time in his career that Perez has gone down. 18 year old hit another, another left. Franco staying composed. And now that he's had four fights under his belt, he feels relaxed. Body shot. Oh, good shots landed by Franco. Upstairs, going upstairs, loading up his Franco. Perez likes to retaliate to the body, but that leaves that chin exposed. Joshua Franco is taking advantage of it. Ten seconds to go in the opening round. Good one from Joshua Franco, the fighter out of San Antonio, looking good in Los Angeles. Strategy session for Joshua Franco's fight. <coughs> And there you see the corner trained by Willie Silva. Joshua Franco. And let's look at that knockdown. Franco misses with a, with a hook. Oh. But he catches him with the second hook. Perez reels against the ropes, eats a hook to the body, and goes down. Second time in his career that Jorge Perez has been dropped. It's two and one, his last loss came against Antonio Santa Cruz, the cousin of Leo Santa Cruz. That was at the Honda Center on Leo's undercard. He led a four round decision, a fight he felt like he was robbed. Here in the second round, Joshua Franco, you talk about some experience sparring at the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy, sparred with Abner Mares and Gradovich to get ready for this fight. Wow. Yeah, he has been in with some world-class fighters. He's been in, the two guys that you mentioned are former champions, and he's been in there with current champions like Carlos Cuadras, who's the WBC title holder at 115 pounds. So he's just getting amazing work at Robert Garcia's training camp. And that's the value of being in a camp like this. Early on in the career, first 15 fights, usually, as we like to say, Doug, they're on the house. They're going to match make you very favorably. The real work comes in sparring, and, and that is the value of going to a Garcia Boxing Academy. Every single day, you will get quality work. Thanks for using the hashtag Ring TV Live. Just like Angel Melendez from Dallas, 15-year-old friend of Joshua Franco watching today. Happy birthday, and also Sal Sanchez. 1-0 pro fighter, has a fight coming up April 29th, watching in Pacuema, the younger brother of Emilio, who had an impressive yeah. knockout in India on Ring TV Live last week. Yeah, Emilio Sanchez looked super sharp last Friday. Second round schedule for six, Joshua Franco. Franco looking pretty sharp. I like the way he's defending uh, it, uh, from mid-range oh, on the inside. Oh, big wow. uppercut, and it is over. Joshua Franco has knocked out George Perez. <laughs> Lou Moret jumped in right away. That head snapped back. No count. Immediately stopped that fight. Big shot landed by Joshua Franco. Yeah, that was a, a perfectly timed Ooh. uppercut with maximum leverage. And let's get another look at it. I was, I was complimenting Franco on his defense, but his offense is his bread and butter right to the body. You see he's blocking these body shots with his arms and elbows positioning himself, staying on the inside. <laughs> Boom, oh. saw the opening, split the guard of Perez. It was a right uppercut, right? Right up the middle. And Dr. Lou Moret said, you know what? Maybe the kid can continue, but I'm thinking he should not continue. And that's why he's a doctor. Oh. That's why he's a ref. Well, I think this is what you, you call hastening the inevitable, especially last week with what happened with Nick Blackwell, which is yes. very unfortunate. In terms of this particular performance, in the first fight with Nava, we saw a quantity of punches. Uh, I thought with Franco, we saw a quality of them. And I thought for the first time in, in his career, this is my fourth time seeing him live in person, Doug, I thought we saw some explosiveness from this young man. And let's go to our ring announcer, Joe Martinez. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here comes at the official time. One minute, 24 seconds, round number two. Referee Dr. Lou Moret puts a halt to this bout. Your winner by KO victory and still undefeated, El Profesor Joshua Franco. Now 5-0 and oh with three KOs. Joshua Franco and the families back in San Antonio all fired up for this one. May 7th, what a weekend it's gonna be in Las Vegas. Canelo, Khan, a week full of activities. We will be there bringing you all the action of Ring TV, bringing you everything from uh, Amir Khan and Cotto, I mean Canelo. Oh my goodness, that's a, a fight that both of them have been involved in some heavy knockouts. And the man joining us right now with an impressive knockout, a second round stoppage, Joshua Franco from San Antonio. Congratulations, I Thank know you've been working hard. You sparred with Mares, Gradovich. How good did that feel? Yes, sir, uh, it felt good. Um, I felt more comfortable in the ring uh, with my opponent because of the work I was getting in the gym. I, and even with um, both those fighters, I was fighting in the inside more and comfortable. Getting get more of my style in the, on the inside and working the body, uppercut, stuff like that. I've noticed your style changed from your, your pro debut. You had still an amateur style. Then your next couple of fights, you were applying pressure and more punches in this fight. Tell us what you're seeing right here. Uh, caught him with the uppercut. Uh, I saw that he was putting his head down every time I would come in, so I changed it up to an uppercut, hit him with the hook. Saw he was hurt. Tried to go into the body because he was covering the head more, and he, he goes down from a body shot. How would you describe your style right now? Because as you say, you're, you're, you're good on the outside, but you look like an expert there, very much at home battling on the inside. Yeah, um, even in the amateurs, inside was more of my style. But I could, I could even box on, on the outside. I could do it. I could do it all. But I, I prefer to be on the inside more because that's perfect where I, uppercut. And yeah. you blocked all those yeah. body shots he was trying to land on you yeah. with your forearms uh -huh. and elbows, just like a pro. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very <laughs> that's good. That's something I've been learning in the gym and working on in the gym. Robert told me the way you spar. That's the way I want to see you fight. More comfortable. More you know patient. The way you are sparring. Your family, your mom and dad, you got to give them credit. Joe, 17 hours from San Antonio yes, sir. to Riverside to get there. Your dad's yes, in the sir. corner. How cool was it just to have him here with you? Um, just it's a, it's a blessing because um, he's been he's been coaching me since I started and then bring me up to right here and having having him with me in the corner is just it's a blessing and it's uh, something that I admire. Now, you didn't go to college, but that Garcia Academy might as well be like a dorm room there. Yes, sir. It? Yes, sir. I'm, lear <laughs> I'm learning something new every day there at the gym. Well, your family can watch you. Look at that little camera right there. Say what's up to everybody in San Antonio. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Thank you for their support. Keep supporting me. Angel, happy birthday from Dallas. The angel gets two shout outs on his birthday. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Joshua Franco, he's now 5 0 oh with three KOs. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up next, Pablo Rubio is working his way towards the ring against Juan Carlos Benavides. Josh, you can go, man. Get okay. out of here, Thank man. You. Get, get some I'll water. See <laughs> get some water, baby. See you. Thank Don't you. worry about it. Robert, congratulations. Rodriguez and Franco family out there in San Antonio. Congratulations to you guys out there. We'll be back with more from the LA Fight Club on Ring TV Live.